Hello and welcome to NetBeast Quick How To Videos. Today we'll talk about how to use DFS channels in Wi-Fi. DFS means Dynamic Frequency Selection and is a Wi-Fi function that enables WLAN to use 5 GHz frequencies that are generally reserved for radars. One main benefit of using DFS channels is to utilize under service frequencies to increase the number of available Wi-Fi channels. If you're planning to use DFS channels, you first have to verify that both your Wi-Fi access points and wireless clients, wireless clients support these functionalities. The following table lists the Wi-Fi frequencies in use for the 5 GHz band, including the ones reserved for DFS channels. Let's talk about DFS channel availability check. It will be necessary for Wi-Fi access points uh, to verify that any rad radar in proximity is not using DFS frequencies. This process is called channel availability check and it's executed during the boot process of an access point as well as during its normal operations. If the IP detects that a radar is using a particular DFS channel, then it will exclude that channel from the list of available channels. This state will last for 30 minutes, after which the IP will check again if the channel can be used for Wi-Fi transmissions. The channel availability check performed during the boot process can take anywhere between 1 to 10 minutes depending on the country which you're in. For this reason, DFS channels are not immediately available when an IP boots. If an IP detects during normal operations that a radar is using a particular channel that is currently in use, then it might communicate to associated Wi-Fi clients to stop transmitting on that channel. The IP will then switch to another available DFS channel within the channel move time, which is generally set to 10 seconds. This behavior will cause connected Wi-Fi clients to be disconnected from the network for a period of time before reconnecting to a different channel. It's very important to keep this behavior in mind when enabling DFS function because Wi-Fi networks that are servicing real-time and mission-critical applications might want to avoid such disconnections caused by DFS frequencies. I hope this uh, brief guide was beneficial to learn more about DFS channels and uh, do's and don'ts. Uh, but please keep in mind that DFS channels will vary from country to country. So, if you want to learn more about this, please consult the FCC website as well as the Wikipedia page on DFS channels and WLAN channels as it contains many useful information about this technology and the channels that it uses. Thank you and have a great day.